Um, as correctly stated, uh, this opinion is about the initiative for the sustainable development of the blue economy in the Western Mediterranean, which was published, the communication by the Commission, on the 19th April 2017. And the initiative has the purpose to develop the maritime economy in the Western Mediterranean by realizing its full potential and aims to achieve three major additional goals in the implementation process, increase safety and security of the region, promote sustainable blue growth and jobs, and preserve ecosystems and biodiversity. Obviously, this goal setting is very ambitious and goes beyond the scope of sea basin strategies in their traditional form. A success in achieving the goals of a strategy will be also a success for EU diplomacy, as counterparts of the EU member states emanating from the region of Italy, France, Spain, Portugal, and Malta, and five certain countries, Algeria, Libya, Mauritania, Morocco, and Tunisia. <coughs> the very complex issue of international relations in the Mediterranean should not be restricted only to the elements of a maritime strategy, because it touches upon topics that are highly relevant also for the rest of the European countries and their local and regional authorities, respectively. Marine pollution, geopolitical instability, unemployment, economic and financial crisis, refugee crisis, depleted fish stocks, and so on. Soft diplomacy through economic development might be best suited to provide answers to the burning issues. And in this concrete case, the Mediterranean Sea represents our common denominator, cultural, social, and economic link over centuries. The COR's goal is to provide to the Commission and the Member States the point of view of EU's local and regional authorities and inform them about the challenges and chance we see in the process. In the context of the reflections on the future of Europe and the white paper published by the Commission, the WestMed initiative is surely a good way to showcase effectiveness or depending on results, the lack of it, in a cross-policy approach to sea basin strategies. The COR is very happy to participate in its implementation governments involving trusted local and regional authorities from the region, and in fact, is contacted by the European Commission to appoint representative in the WestMed steering group. Implementation and efficient reporting are key to the success. The ability to efficiently provide information and assessment of completed ongoing and planned projects is crucial for the success of a strategy. In this case, it will involve coordination with managing authorities of non-EU countries, which adds additional complexity. A supporting mechanism, defining the exact role of the supporting mechanism, can be vital for the success of the strategy. The roles can spread from publicity and events only to operational help in funding applications and providing help and expertise for less experienced regions to apply or prepare their operational programs. The location of the existing mechanism and the local outreach to focal points is also very important. Fisheries in the Mediterranean can be a deal breaker for any initiative. And the same goes for environment protection, fight with marine litter and plastics. Important element here is the elaboration of mechanism for control and enforcement of the reached agreements. The funding of projects under the initiative should be a priority topic, and in the same time one that should be approached very carefully. Although we are aware that under normal conditions, no additional funding is attributed exclusively to sea basin strategies, the EU side needs to communicate this clearly to our parties. Last but surely not least, I would like to thank the expert for my opinion, Mr. Franco Schembri, which expertise and health have contributed immensely towards the contribution and realization of this opinion. I would like to also thank the NAT Secretariat and all the staff that helped throughout. I surely thank you members of the Com Committee of the Regions, especially those of the NAT Commission, and in particular, those members that have actively expressed interest in this opinion by proposing amendments. It is surely a humble reassurance that this opinion did not go unnoticed. Thank you.